Good day, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is January 23rd, 2021. And today is a Saturday within the second week in ordinary time. And our gospel for today is from the account of Mark chapter 3, verses 20 to 21. It is a very short version of the gospel today, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, and I would like to share it with you. Here, in our gospel, it says, Jesus and the disciples went home, and the crowd came together again, so that they could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, He has gone out of his mind. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good day, my dear friends. You know, our Gospel is very short, just two verses, but it has a very profound meaning. You know, in today's gospel, we have heard that uh, the family of Jesus restrained him or like they set out to seize him because people were saying, he's out of his mind. People were saying, hey, he's crazy. Friends, mother, brothers and sisters, if you are one of the biological family of Jesus, what will be your reaction? Imagine this. Imagine you are Jesus. You are doing everything to help other people that even your time to eat was taken away from you. You're doing everything that even you don't have the time to eat because of helping others. Yet at the end, people will going to tell you and people will say, you're crazy. Do you have that kind of experience in your life that you're helping people, you're doing everything, you're helping all your, your resources, but at the end, you will hear people saying, you're crazy, you're out of your mind. Friends, what's the message of today's gospel? You know what? This is what I've realized. Even if people will call you crazy, Continue to help the needy. You know, even if others will label you as you are out of your mind, never stop and never give up extending help for the poor. Choose to be crazy by helping the needy than being normal but insensitive to the needs of uh, the less fortunate. You know what? It's okay, it's fine to be called crazy because of your love for the needy. It is okay to be called crazy because of your love for the less fortunate. Friends, you know what? Those who love the poor are crazy. Those who waste this, their time for the less fortunate were crazy. <laughs> and what's the gospel is trying to tell us today? Friends, I encourage myself and you choose to be crazy by helping the poor than being normal but insensitive to the needs of the needy. It is fine, it is okay to be called insane because of your big heart for the underprivileged. Choose to be psychotic than being heartless and inconsiderate to the poverty-stricken individual. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, for me, it is better to be called deranged or crazy or out of your mind than being normal but thoughtless and heartless to those in want. If people are calling you crazy because you're helping the poor, it's fine, it's okay. Even if some of your family members are telling you, you are crazy, you are out of your mind because you help other people, it's fine. It's better to be called that way than being heartless, insensitive, and inconsiderate to the less fortunate. Friends, 
This is what I'm trying to tell you. Be crazy for the poor. Lose your mind for the less fortunate. Waste your time for the destitute like Jesus. Love the poor. Even if people will call you, you're out of your mind because of your heart for the poor, it's okay. Because that what is Jesus is doing. Let me end my reflection by saying, I would rather befriend. I would rather choose a poor man with a rich heart than a rich and a famous individual with a poor heart. Choose a person, choose a poor man with a rich heart than a rich or famous individual but with a poor heart. The reason why we are here on earth, you know, you know the reason why? God puts us in this world to help the poor. God gives us life to love them. Friends, love the poor. Help the poor because we are one of them. Whether we like it or not, we also are poor and we need someone who help us and that someone who is crazy, his name is Jesus. Jesus is crazy for you. Jesus lost his mind because of you. Jesus forget to eat because of you. My dear friends, Jesus is psychotic because of his love for you. Let me end my reflection by quoting the the book of Proverbs chapter 19 verses 17 and it says whoever is kind and whoever is a generous to the poor lends to the Lord and if you are kind if you are generous to the poor at the end God will reward you for what you have done. Remember the poor. Love them. Help them. Be crazy for them. Because we are one of them. Love the poor. Because Jesus loves them.